Nation! I am longtime independent wrestling fan Robert. Hero Celebration 2024 was a great way for Ace Pro Wrestling to come back after being, well, out of out of the picture for over a year or, you know, hibernating, shall we say. And, of course, this was the tribute in memory of Mike Morgan Jr. And, boy, this was quite a show. We had a good crowd. Had a great crowd. was really into this one. And uh, we started out where um, out comes uh, the broadcast team of Cheyenne Ortiz, William Wyeth, bringing out to Ryan Peasons out there, too. Uh... I forgot what Cheyenne said to the crowd. Uh, I, well, actually, I'm sorry. He introduced Classic Mikey D, also commentary, and also at the commentary table was Bo Pritchard, former Ace Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champion. So then, at that point, all of a sudden, uh, referee Jamal Jackson comes to the ring, and I don't know if this was the plan or not, but out comes... NWA's Wrecking Ball Ligurski, he comes out and says he answered Jurassic Juggernaut Vince Steele's open challenge for the heavyweight championship, and he said he wanted Vince Steele to come out right now. So they come out, and look at the match about to happen, but then, all of a sudden, out comes that heavy metal hitman, Rick Recon, who's been quite a buzz, namely in ISPW for the past year or so. And Recon said this was an open challenge, and he wanted in on the match for the heavyweight championship, and it wound up a three-way matchup, which saw it was both Rick Recon and Wrecking Ball Ligurski challenging the Jurassic Juggernaut Vince Steele for the heavyweight championship. Quite a match these three managed to have. Um, at one point, Ligurski nailed Recon with the with the Dino Bravo move. Or as the late Girl Monsoon called that patented side suplex that Bravo used to put his opponents away. Uh, at one point, Ligurski's out on the floor. He takes this Jurassic Juggernaut sign and, and ripped it and made this one girl cry to the point where I know she got her See, She wanted to like run out the door and I don't know if she wanted to just, just not come back or what the deal was. Eventually, um... She eventually came back back to her seat, and I noticed that um, Ligurski said to, said to her, this is for you, and uh, unless I'm mistaken, she gave him a sight for the bird watchers, and he tried to have a seat, but uh, Recon moved out of the way, also, and uh, Recon eventually, I believe, used a crucifix roll-up pin, a pin Ligurski, and as a result, Heavy Metal Hitman Rick Recon defeated Wrecking Ball Ligurski and the Jurassic Juggernaut Vince Steele to become the new Ace Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion at 9 minutes 39 seconds. Uh, uh, Recon is the new champion, but he did not pin Vince Steele to win that belt. And uh, I'm shocked that that match actually went on first. The next matchup was, was a battle of debuts as Sir Ahmed Rose or Roach, apologies for not for, for mispronouncing his last name, as he took on Guapo Grande. Uh, I forgot what the Nick Guapo Grande's nickname, but Sir Ahmed was nicknamed the 21st century Roman gladiator, I believe. Um, eh, the, the fans were kind of digging Guapo here and jeering Sir Ahmed. At one point, Guapo attempted to, was going to do a dive through the ropes, but Sir Ahmed had nailed him with his shield, and referee Shea Torres saw that right in front of the ref Shea Torres. He called for the bell, and Guapo Grande defeated Sir Ahmed Rose or Roge at 6 minutes, 3 seconds by disqualification. Uh, 
Up next, we were set to fate. We saw more singles action as we saw Merck. He took on Adam Kane. I forgot what his nickname is. Um, Merck is one guy, guy that's uh, great to watch in the ring. Uh, Adam Kane ended up defeating Merck at 8 minutes 24 seconds. Up next was another, our second championship match of the night. As we saw, nobody's better Michael Mastretta, accompanied the ring by Ebony LaVey, challenge Cade Lothbrock, Lothbrook for the Diamond Division Championship. Quite a match these two men had. Uh, I noticed at one point, Abby LaVey, I don't know, she, she was brought in the ring by Cade, and Cade, like, picked her up and pressed her over her head, a la the Ultimate Warrior, rest his soul. Um, I don't know if the referee was bumped or he was knocked, was, was down or if he was distracted by Abity. Um, Mastretta grabbed the Diamond Division Championship belt. He was going to use it. But then Bo Pritchard, who was doing the commentary, he comes from the commentary table. He takes it from Mastretta's hands. He and Kate, he high fives Cade, but then he turns Cade around, hits him in the face of the championship belt. And Mastretta got on top and pinned him. Michael Mastretta, the new Diamond Division champion over Cade Lothbrook at 19 minutes, 13 seconds. It was at that point the show had gone to intermission. Ooh. And, uh... Hmm. Wow. Uh, so, got back in session with a six-way match for the vacant Fight for Flight Championship. As we saw, J.D. Inc. versus Bad Brad Benson versus T Top Tier A1G versus J.J. Doe's versus... The specialist Giorgio Lawrence versus Jorge La Bestia. And um, quite a match these six men had, which saw Bad Brad Benson defeat JD Inc., A1G, JJ Doe's, Giorgio Lawrence, and Jorge La Bestia at seven minutes, two seconds to win the vacant Fight for Flight Championship. I wonder what was the deal with uh, Love Jones, the previous champion, as a why. The title wound up vacant, or if he's no longer wrestling. All right. Up next, we saw a singles action as Tiffany Avatar, the Cotton Candy Princess, took on Abby LeVay, who was covered by newly crowned Diamond Division champion Michael Mastretta, but I don't think he stayed at ringside for her match. These ladies, I don't know if this is the first time these ladies face each other one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, it was my first time seeing Tiffany Avatar live. Uh, Amity LaVey defeated Tiffany Avatar at 8 minutes, 46 seconds. Mm. Up next, well, actually, I forgot at the beginning when Cheyenne Ortiz came out at the beginning of the night that uh, there was a, ch a change in the card that Rob Vegas was going to face Rick Recon. Vegas was supposed to face Chris Rockwell one-on-one, -on -one, but Rockwell, they said, had the sniffles. And uh, the match was on, and uh, Vegas and Recon went at it, and Recon, Recon decided to put the heavyweight championship on the line. And what boggles my mind here is that they announced it was a 15-minute time limit. Vegas had put Recon in the uh, Texas Cloverleaf, and then the bell rang. At that point, only 12 minutes, 10 seconds went by. The fans were chatting for five more minutes. The match got restarted, and I forgot what Recon did. He ended up uh, eventually pinning Rob Vegas at 14 seconds after the match was restarted. Recon defeats Rob Vegas to retain the heavyweight championship. I don't know if Recon now has the distinction of winning and retaining the heavyweight champion, winning the championship and retaining the heavyweight championship in the same night at Eddie's Pro Wrestling or not. I don't know if that's a first. Ugh. Then it's time for the main event as Dan Moff went one-on-one -on -one with Jay Lethal. Moff um, 
knocked Lethal off the apron before the, before he even got in the ring. They were brawling on the floor. Then they finally got in the ring before the match eventually started. Uh, wow. Well, these two have always meshed nicely in the ring. Lethal, um, sorry, Lethal beat, um, Moff, I think, tried for the Burning Hammer twice, and it didn't, didn't, he didn't execute the move. I think somebody bumped into Jamal, referee Jamal Jackson. Mm. Mm. Shit. Um, ooh, uh, Moff put, a uh, Moff had lethal and some kind of submission hold, and Lethal just rolled backwards, and uh, Jamal Jackson made a three count, and Moff was like in disbelief, as Jay Lethal defeated Dan Moff in 13 minutes, 30 seconds, to end a great night of wrestling. Uh, at that point, um, the late Mike Morgan Jr.'s theme started playing, and out came basically everybody who wrestled on the show, Seemingly, uh, Ligurski, Steele, Recon, Mastrata, Amity. Uh, Vegas. Mike Morgan Sr. comes to the ring. Thanked everybody for coming. And he announced that they will be back on Saturday, March 30th. All right, uh, personal note. Ooh, personal notes time. Great seeing Mike Morgan, Denise, Sharon, Kenny, uh, Ryan Peterson, Cheyenne Ortiz, Bob Elder. Mm -hmm. Wow. Else that I remember seeing there. Um, I forgot the, the other referee's name. Not it was Shady Torres, Jamal Jackson, and that third referee. He, he, he spoke with me a little bit during intermission. Um, damn, what else could I say here? I did notice former Ace Pro Wrestling Diamond Division champion Bruno Marciano in attendance. Also, another former Diamond Division champion, uh, Kerr, who previously wrestled as Adam Payne. He, he eventually showed up. By the way, show started. It was going to start at 7.30. It started like... Just a little bit before 7.45. Um, I wonder if they're ever, if Ace is going to ever try to get some assist, more more help at the shows. I mean, considering, you know, with the people coming in with the tickets and with the, it, was, it seemed like demanding for the empanadas, you know, like for the kitchen, maybe help work the door and have others help out in the kitchen with the selling the food and drinks. Uh, funny thing is, by the time I got to that window, they ran out of beef empanadas. I don't know. I was for some weird reason. I was thinking maybe the food truck would have been outside for the show. I was thinking that way going into this, but it wasn't. Uh, hmm. Oh, one thing I forgot to point out, as I mentioned. During the opening matchup, when Ligurski ripped that little girl's sign, well, I don't think she's a little little girl, but she's probably not a teenager yet. That after the match, Jay Lethal came out and saw, and he hand, not only came out with a poster of, well, a flyer it was like more like a poster of of the flyer of the show, and I don't know if he autographed it right then and there. He also gave her, literally gave her the Jay Lethal shirt off his back. Hmm. Okay, um, la, 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 let's see here, 
Look, I sound like there was some trouble with the microphone initially at this event. Okay, uh, excuse me. Okay, some memorable quotes. Robert Lottie! Robert Lottie! Cheyenne Ortiz, when, uh, before entering the ring, and he, like, jumped into my arms and basically had us over a proverbial cream fest, knowing I was at the show. Robert, why, Robert, why are you leaving? Michael Mastrana, when uh, he noticed me out of my seat as he was about to enter the ring for his match. Puberty, puberty, puberty. Some of the uh, crowd sitting um, on the other side of the room. And I forgot to mention, it's great seeing Ace Pro Wrestling historian Adolfo and his son Noah. Getting injured constantly. Getting injured constantly. Danielle, who was sitting on the opposite, opposite side of the room uh, when Cult of Personality was playing uh, during intermission. Of course, everybody knows that's uh, CM Punk's entrance music. I know he's injured right now, but I still refer to him as Con Man Puke. Ah, uh, let's see. Well, we had a lot of debuts on this event. Uh, great to see A1G, Giorgio Lawrence, and Jorge Labestia, who came out, who wrestled for NYWC, get an opportunity to be on a on this on a, on the A show. Uh, Rick Recon debuted. I forgot what other. Almost everybody was a debut here. Uh, well, I mean, I you know, hopefully someday Ace Pro Wrestling will book Vicious Vicky. Because, you know, I know some women's matches are few and far between. Uh, well, one thing we don't know. Uh, the tag team champions, Silk City, Silk City Kings, Kenny Bangle and Bulldog Pittman were not on this show, or at least not not even announced. So I don't know what's going to be done about the tag team situ tag team title. Um, as mentioned, Ace Pro Wrestling returns on Saturday, March thirtieth. No show title was mentioned, and unfortunately, I will not be able to attend that show. I um won't be able to attend that show, and I I will say if Ace is going to be back on a consistent well they are back as we know based on this show, and you know they're not gonna they're not gonna the, for anyone who was wondering if they're gonna close down or anything don't don't believe any rumors out there folks until Mike Morgan himself decides to pull the plug, Ace Pro Wrestling is just like Ozzy Osbourne not going away. Uh, but I would like to see uh, I'm waiting for I mean two things that happen that have not been done in Ace in years Mike Morgan bring back the Russian roulette match and I'm also hoping late this year we get a show that has not been done in a long time and that's Crossroads which is basically the Ace Pro Wrestling equival uh, equivalent to WrestleMania. Okay? But, you know, obviously, with this show, I guess kind of a changing of the guard, you know, with new champ, three, all the singles champions, new singles champions crowned all around. And uh, interesting to see what they do with the tag title situation. Um, interesting where 
uh, Vince Steele and Cade Lothbrook go from here. Um, and hopefully see how, how things do go. I mean, again, I won't be there March 30th. And I wish I could get somebody to, some people to go with me to these ace shows because it just sucks being there alone and nobody really to talk to on the way there and nobody to talk to on the way back to New York City. Um, I, uh, you know, like I said, I just wish I had someone to talk to while I'm at the shows or at the shows or on the way, on the way to the shows or on my way back home. All right, uh, damn, who else did I see and stuff? La 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 the only, the only kicker about this building in Teaneck, as I mentioned probably in previous eight shows that have been done in this building, is that the ceiling's not very high. Mm. Mm. Wow. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Mike. Morgan. About the uh, the empanadas. Are, are they, is that the only size they're made in? Or could they be made in, made bigger for some reason? Bigger. Because, you know, as good as they are. And good I did get that, that bag of chips, as, bag of Fritos as well. Even though it was a puny bag. More air than chips. <laughs> um, I don't know if you'll ever like have other food there too, aside from the empanadas. Man, those babies are so good. Ah, la 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 da da da. Damn it! Wow. Well, um, I'm surprised I didn't see John Harder commentate this uh, very event. Well, uh, Well, I guess I guess that'll do it, folks. Uh, it was great to see Ace, that Ace Pressing is back. Great to see them live for the first time in over a year, and certainly hope uh, you know things will keep going up for them, and we'll see how things go as time goes on. Mm. Let me see, is there, any, is there anything else left to say here? Okay, I think that, hey, that'll do it, all right. Ace, 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 ace. As I said earlier, just like Ozzy Osbourne, not going away. <laughs>